Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. I greet to all participants and welcome to our Inviasis webinar lecture series year 2021. I am Dr. Nur Hadida and I will be the moderator for today's session. I think that we showed earlier has provided you with some background about Inviasis and also various services that we offer. Interest in joining the and activity, or if you if or if you would like to know about our services, kindly please visit our official website, also social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram for the latest updates and info. In Biosis webinar series is established as for researchers to share their significant knowledge and research finding and experience. Despite with the current pandemic situation, let's connected and connect it. Now, I will brief everyone with some housekeeping rules for our webinar today. Basically, it will take about 45 minutes and the Q&A session will take at least about 15 minutes and probably, and probably a little bit longer depending on the number of questions that we receive. Attendees, please submit the, the questions either in the Zoom chat segment on Facebook live page. Uh, inshallah, I will read all questions during the Q&A session. the seminar ends, I would like to invite all participants to switch on the camera for, for a photography session. And please stay tuned until to fill in the attendance forms for e-certificate and also SPL UKM credit for UKM staff. Now, I will our honourable speaker of the day, Dr. Mariani Abdul Hamid. Dr. Mariani Abdul Hamid is currently a senior lecturer at Energy Engineering, Faculty of Engineering at the University of Technology Malaysia. Currently, she is all as the managing director and founder for Biopro Cosmeceuticals in the Heights Company. While pursuing her PhD in Dongguria, Dr. Marianne chose to study mangosteen as a subject in developing new skin care products. And she discovered a natural compound known as alpha mangosteen, a compound that can whiten human skin cells and alleviate skin's problems such as oily and dark skin as well as stimulates collagen production. Three years of comprehensive in Besar Chang Seo from Korean International Cosmetic Research Institute had given Dr. Mariani enough confidence to convert her research by premium skincare product, Derma, her first ever skincare product. Dr. Mariani also investigator and co-principal and investigator on several research grants funded by the Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia. She has published widely in the field with over 20 publications in peer-reviewed international journals, book chapters, and won many awards in numerous innovations and technology exhibitions. Without further ado, Dr. Mariani Abdul Hamid to share her research findings. Saya Dr. Mariani binti Abdul Hamid kepada jenama kosmetik di Malaysia iaitu The Max Skin Solution.
Produk ini dipasarkan di bawah syarikat Biopro Kosmetika Sedia Berhad yang mana Biopro merupakan syarikat hiliran ataupun syarikat spin-off kepada Universiti Teknologi Malaysia. Produk ini dihasilkan daripada sebahagian kajian PhD saya kolaborasi di antara Universiti Teknologi Malaysia dan juga Donggut Universiti di Seoul, Korea di bawah pengawasan supervisor saya iaitu uh, Profesor Park Chang Seo yang mana Profesor Park merupakan uh, Director of Korean International Cosmetic Research Institute uh, di Korea Selatan. Produk The Max ini sebenarnya dihasilkan daripada bahan utama iaitu alpha mangosteen dihasilkan daripada ekstrak kulit manggis bukan bahan utama yang paling banyak yang terdapat di dalam kulit manggis iaitu lebih kurang 50% jika dibandingkan dengan bahan-bahan aktif yang lain proses pengekstrakan yang digunakan adalah menggunakan teknologi super critical fluid extraction yang mana bahan ini telah diekstrak dan seterusnya ditulinkan menggunakan teknik kol. The Max Skin Solution menawarkan pakej penyengat lengkap terdiri daripada cleanser, skin softener, brightening serum, moisturizer, refining cream, BB cushion, deep cleansing cream dan juga scar corrector serum. Skin solution boleh didapati daripada 4000 wakil jualan kami yang sah di seluruh Malaysia, Brunei, Singapura dan juga Indonesia. Antara pencapaian yang telah kami capai sehingga ke hari ini adalah Harapan kami agar produk yang dihasilkan daripada kajian terperinci ini memberi manfaat kepada seluruh pengguna lain di luar Luasan itu besarlah harapan kami juga untuk melihat syarikat Biofro Cosmos Kesendirian Berhad terus berkembang maju tidak hanya di Malaysia tapi juga ke peringkat antara bangsa. Dr. Mariani boleh share screen? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, boleh dengar tak? Boleh. Okay, so saya terus start ke macam mana? Boleh start lah. Alright, okay. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Halida and thank you so much uh, to Imbayos uh, UTM. Uh, thank you again uh, for your very detailed explanation or introduction about myself. So today I'm going to like to uh, introduce about the Max Skin Solution. Uh, so the Max Skin Solution uh, refer to intensive brightening series uh, for repair by util utilizing the active compound which is alpha mangosteen. Okay, so, uh, so this product is actually 
uh, research based product, uh, awards winning brand and non-toxic classify and the non-toxic cosmetic. Uh, so our tagline, uh, we have two actually. So the previous one is a gay friend uh, started in 2018. Uh, we changed to revitalizing beauty. Okay. So uh, I, 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 I saw in your uh, video, so in bias video, so I think you can also uh, carry out and uh, uh carry out the uh research regarding the uh, the mango steam extract so i'm not really sure whether that one is uh, referred to the uh cosmetic product or a food product or maybe some of the uh, analysis regarding the biochemical active compound okay so basically uh, our company uh, located in we have to actually we have the headquarters previously in uh, johor baru in skudai uh, located in uh, the UTM, uh, MTDC Technology Park. Uh, we, uh, as incubator for uh, the UTM MTDC uh, Technology Park. And then uh, in like, this year, we moved to KL and our headquarters uh, right now is in KL. So in JB, we still have, but uh, that one is focusing more on the sales and marketing. So this is the uh, background. So this is the lobby of our company. So this is the in Sorry, front. Dr. Marani. Apa nampak slide? Tak nampak. Dah tekan presentation mode kan? Uh, dah. Um, display macam ni je kot. Okay, so don't need to go for presentation mode. Eh? Uh -huh. So so this is actually our company. So you nampak? Eh? Okay, uh, so uh, in front of the company, uh, located in UTM MTDC Technovision Park and some of the equipment in our, our company. In 2017, so we started this company in 2016. And during that time, we uh, only do OEM with the, one of the GMP facility in Kelantan. And then started in 2017, uh, we established our own facility in GMP. So during that time, we received a superb a grant uh, from Teraju and then about 500,000 uh, ringgit Malaysia. And then we need to expand the business by having our own uh, GMP facilities. So this is the area of the uh, GMP facilities, the green area. Some of the production uh, in the GMP uh, product. So this is the uh, brightness area uh, moisturizer. Okay, so this is the cleanser. So we actually come up with two packages. So the first one is the trial pack, uh, the small one, and then the actual to a size packaging uh, pack, okay. Right, so, so our core business actually to manufacture, sell, supply and distribute cosmetic including beauty and fairness product. And then this company, uh, the, the startup for the paid out capital is about 200,000 uh, and 100% owned by the uh, researcher uh, myself. So this is the company background. We have the uh, four players for the key management team. So myself as a doctor uh, and then assistant director, Dr. Wan Rosli, Wan Sulaiman. And we do have the general manager as well as the uh, account executive. So for the overall, we all have five division. Uh, started from finance and account division and then production division. HR division, sales and marketing division. Actually, we just manage the sales uh, for the uh, distributor. We have about 4,000 distributors all over Malaysia, including sub, including uh, from the uh, Brunei, Indonesia, and as well as we just penetrate the Middle East country. So we just focusing on the sales and marketing for those uh, distributor. And then uh, sales will be uh, conducted uh, by our uh, distributor. 
Okay, then we have the quality division to make sure that the product uh, uh, quality and consistency for every batch of production. Okay, so if we look into the needs and opportunity, so before that, maybe uh, I change company. So actually, Biopro Cosmeticals Number High is a spin off company under University you know, Technology Malaysia. So uh, we need to pay uh, royalty, and then every year we need to pay for the licensing fee uh, to, to UDM. Okay? So currently, we have about more than 50 uh, companies uh, spin off the University Technology Malaysia. So if we look into the needs and opportunity for the local cosmetic and toiletries, uh, right now we have more than 10,000 small local companies which producing cosmetic uh, product. And um, the sales uh, contribute about more than uh, 3 billion ringgit measure and the annual growth rate more than 13 cent, which uh, consists of more than 60,000 types of cosmetic product. And most of the market is dominated by imported bulk products or ingredients from Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, China, as well as uh, from Singapore. And most of the activities um, only doing mixing and formula, uh, mixing of the formulation by using imported ingredient. Okay, so if we look into the, the cosmetic, the Asia Pacific cosmetic market expected to reach uh, 126.8 billion. This is for the last year 2020. And most of them focusing market. And in Asia country, uh, including Malaysia, the skin lightening products are the main targeted, which for out of 10 women in Hong Kong, Malaysia, South Korea, as well as Taiwan, they use uh, to have a skin whitening cream. So actually, um, in Malaysia, we need to take care of the ingredient uh, of the product. Uh, some of the product already been called back uh, by the NPR NPRA. Uh, because the formation contents of the chemical like hydroquinone, mercury, tritinoin, uh, and so on. So some of them, uh, they don't have any uh, certificate for halal. halal. So maybe uh, the ingredient itself is not certified halal. Okay, so uh, I would like to introduce the R&D beyond this uh, kind uh, hour. Uh, product. So back in uh, 2009 uh, until two, 2012, so actually went to Korea Selatan, South Korea, so uh, doing the PhD uh, in collaboration with uh, Dong Kong City and UTN. So we found that uh, the alpha mangosteen uh, extracted from the mangosteen pericarp actually a very potent, in, uh, they produce a very potent inhibition effect in terms of the skin lightening and uh, can boost the collagen synthesis uh, via the fibroblast cell. Okay, so based on this research, so we highlighted two features and covered with the novel plant derived cosmetic ingredient, which we use the primary ingredient alpha mangosteen uh, source from mangosteen perica or leaf, but in our case, we uh, mangosteen perica and are very competitive uh, because it's very potent, uh, inhibit the tyrosinase activity uh, compared to the commercial white product in the acid and arbutin, and are very powerful in reducing dark spot, milia, and freckles. This is based on the intro study, intro study as well as the uh, Efficacy study. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, by uh, by a five per ml, the efficacy is uh, comparable to the commercial vitamin ingredient in the market, and then uh, that research is actually three years uh, in collaboration between University of Technology Malaysia and Dong Kuk University. So this is the uh, Professor Dr. Chang Siu Park, which is the director of Korean English Institute. So he is actually my uh, sponsor. 
Okay, so the second um, features, so we highlight the nano scale whereby we loaded the alpha amigosin in liosome and the size is actually less than 100 nanometer which can act as a penetration and enhance the is um, made from the non-ionic surfactant based vesicle. So the idea is uh, by encapsulating uh, alpha mangosteen in niosome is the topical delivery of drug, uh, which is alpha mangosteen to the targeted site, uh, which is a melanocyte cell, fibroblast cell, uh, and then keratinocyte cell. So finally, the skin properties, bioavailability, stability, and as well as control release, and uh, can which can add the value to the final product. So the innovative approach to problem solving. So if we can see here, so this is the niosome with alpha mangosteen. We encapsulate the alpha mangosteen in the niosomes in order to have a better penetration through the stratum corneum, stratum residuum, granulosum, you know, up to the uh, targeted area, which is the melanocyte cell. So our skin consists of two layers. The first one is the epidermis and the inner one is um, uh, the We target that the alpha mangosteen niosome will penetrate faster and deeper throughout the uh, this skin layer. So the with niosome technology, it can increase the penetration ability of active ing ingredients more than 80%. Uh, to the targeted cell. This is the raw material where we use the uh, this one, the pericarp, uh, the mangosteen pericarp. Uh, we do the drying and then we do the extraction uh, by critical fluid extractor. And then uh, we get the alpha mangosteen. We further purify it by using column chromatography to get the alpha mangosteen. We encapsulate those alpha mangosteen in the niosome, and finally, this uh, extract uh, we use as a raw material for the. Okay, throughout the journey, we receive uh, supporting grants, uh, R and D from the government, like uh, a GUP grant from UDM, and then we we have a FRDS grant and PRDS grant from. Uh, Kementerian Penajian Tinggi and then we also want the uh, scheme with Sangwan Bumitra superb in 2010. So we receive about 500,000 in Indonesia to start up uh, the business. Okay. So next is different actually between uh, other products uh, in the market. So actually the Efficacy is very fast, but which is in line with skin physiology. So most of the product claim that they can have an effect less than a week, but that one is not in line with skin physiology. By a year, it will take about 28 days, uh, uh, 14 days actually from the basal layer up to the stratum corneum, and then uh, another two weeks uh, for the stratum foliate uh, from the uh, outer part of the skin layer. So this product uh, in line with skin physiology. So then we have a, a full treatment and beauty, time saving. So for example, for the common facial step, we need to have five minutes, but uh, by utilizing the serum and the diffusion of this. So the time uh, use only two minutes so we can have about 40 41 percent less uh, throughout the 30 years of the uh, applicant for the cost saving so this is the average of the common facial step uh, whereby uh, for 30 years the cost is about 108 and for the uh, the max product so the cost is about 52,920 ringgit. So overall we can uh, save about 42,000 uh, ringgit. And our product is safe, natural and non-toxic ingredient. Best of the best because the alpha mango is 
actually 200% more powerful compared to the Koji acid in Albutin based on the in vitro uh, study for whitening. And then we have a triple effect being anti-aging and skin repair, which is the first uh, in the world and proven. Okay, for the value proposition, so uh, our is a very distinctive uh, pioneering in skincare formulation that use our formula skin and I assume in the uh, cosmetic uh, skincare application. And we, we are uh, natural and then notified by KKM uh, and then tested by preclinical and human study and patented. So also we have a trademark and some uh, trade secret formulation and we won awards for local and international and developed using years of R&D uh, in collaboration with the Korean Ethic Research Institute. And our product is a safe and halal, which is free from any animal derived substances, such as, uh, as well as the parabens and mineral oil. Okay. And then, so we, uh, our target market, uh, we have two, the primary customer, which we target the mature woman age, um, in between 30 to 60 years old, uh, professional and high disposable income from pigmentation skin, acne, aging skin, and so on. And the second target market is for secondary customer, retailer, or distributor, care or wellness business, spa center, pharmacy, and so on. Okay. So some of the, uh, the max uh, publicity in newspaper, on right so another news cutting paper uh, stated that the R&D of the drug from the beginning until the commercialization of the product okay for the existing sales avenue and performance so we can be reached uh, via the online max.com.my and we do have a FB page Instagram and so on and I think before COVID, so we are actively involved in, and then a true agency whereby we have currently about more than 4,000 uh, distributor and also we can be reached uh, through the cash on delivery. Okay. So this is the uh, total sales actually. So this sales is captured in between end of 2017 around December and up to date. Okay, so so the total sales of the Dramax Skin Solution is about 25.6 million ringgit Malaysia. And currently we have a total customer about 42.2 K. Uh, for the certification and awards, we be certified uh, by the Malaysian brand. Logo Buatan Malaysia, okay. And then uh, we also certified by uh, And uh, so our company is, uh, our, our facility is a GMP, Good Manufacturing pra Practice under uh, NPRA, National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency under Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia. So, uh, Mm, the cosmetic notification product received uh, for uh, each uh, product. And our company also score uh, under SME Corp. So the score is a uh, four star rating. And then the certification award, we won the Sahawan uh, Pemula Abum Mutra. So in 2016, but we, we received the award in 2017 actually. Okay. And also in 2018, we graph pencapaian pengkomersialan for uh, tahun pengkomersialan Malaysia 2018, uh, pemenang utama. And we won about 130,000 uh, ringgit. And part of that, uh, some of the, uh, another anugrah, anugrah breaker chapter in 2018 uh, in UDM. Okay. And then we won the tip 
third place for the Selangor R&D and Innovation Expo. And uh, most promising innovation commercial ready product uh, and goal for most innovative product under Bioeconomy Innovation Awards in 2017 for Malaysian Technology uh, Expo in 2016. Okay, so uh, some of the list uh, intellectual property. So we have about three trademark and pattern. We have two pattern and other than that, we have a um, uh, trade secret okay, for the product. And this is the certificate for the trademark and pattern and so on. Okay, a pattern file and the trade uh, secret. Okay, so other than that, we also receive um, grant uh, for high impact project under Agency Innovasi Malaysia uh, platform ventures. So this is a matching grant actually. So uh, we won this grant in okay. And then part of that, we also actively doing corporate social responsibility, CSR, whereby uh, we involve directly with uh, some of the hospital, we supply the hand sanitizer, and then we also give the Vengenaza uh, to uh, Muslim community in Selangor. Okay. And then of the uh, intubation box to the uh, some of the hospital in Johor Bahru. Okay, some of the, uh, uh, the graph picture throughout our activity for Super Winner series in 2016. And then uh, the picture uh, represent uh, the winner of MCY in 2018. Okay. And this is um, another. This is another one which is a very very interesting. So, uh, because we are a spin off company under University Technology Malaysia, also currently we are already giving back to the university uh, more than six hundred through the research contract, uh, endowment, and then the uh, licensing licensing fee, royalty, and so on. So this is in 2019, uh, we give the research contract to the uh, OTM. Okay. And then uh, the other activity uh, for the student engagement and some of the cosmetic course uh, conducted in UTM. Okay. This is the cosmetic course hands on. Then some of the catalog product for the uh, currently up to 12 SKU of the product uh, started from the cancer. So this is the uh, the max intensive brightening serum and uh, film. Okay, and then this is the uh, intensive brightening cancer. This is the uh, brightening skin softener, and then we have refining cream. Uh, SPF 50, PA++, uh, translucent powder, translucent loose powder, and then we have a BB cushion which can act as a, a sunblock uh, also. So, it's the travel kit. So, we have a, a travel kit A, B, and C depending on the skin types. Okay, so this is the lipstick. Okay. Uh, this is quite new, uh, which is the uh, deep cleansing cream, uh, which can act as a makeup remover. Okay, then maybe I can show some of the testimony for the uh, product. So this is the acne scar uh, testimony before and after. And then, um, yeah, again, the acne scar before and after. So, sorry. Uh, the case of acne scar. 
So this is uh, for uh, sensitive skin. So we can see that little, uh, and then the skin getting better. Another case of acne, right? So again, acne. So, so actually, I will uh, focus on the brightening, but then uh, most of the testimony reveal that the uh, it, it also good for to cure to stop the acne problem. So uh, this is the pigmentation. Okay, so before and after. So you can see clearly being uh, fairer compared to the uh, previous one. Okay. Again, the pigmentation before and after. So this is before. And we can see that the skin gradually uh, better compared to the uh, before use of the, the max product. Okay, another case of the pigmentation before and after. So we also cater the problem of the milia and melasma before and after. You can see that uh, this is before. Or, uh, okay. After and before. Okay. So this uh, for the open pores, the pores getting tightened after ten days of the uh, the max uh, skincare. And another uh, case for the scar and miliacids. Okay uneven skin tone. So we can see that uh, before and after the skin uh, getting Okay, this uh, the case of the uh, a serious uh, scar problem, okay, uh, due to the steering drum and after four weeks, actually the skin getting better. Okay, uh, for the uneven skin tone, and dark skin before and after. So actually our product is not uh, makes your skin uh, brighter, but uh, then it can uh, give your skin get back, getting back to your uh, normal skin color. Okay. Right, I think that's all uh, for the presentation. Thank you very much, Dr. Morgan. Presentation. So, uh, we have several questions in the chat box. Uh, so, let me ask you the, um, the participants. Okay, from Dr. Ahmad Mediani, thank you very much for the presentation. Um, from your slide, SFE for extraction which is costly compared to other methods. Do you consider to try other methods that are comparably as happy and cheaper? Okay, so sorry. Actually, I cannot hear you very well because the sound is uh, double. So maybe a box. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So I, I will go to the first question. Thank you very much for your presentation. I see uh, that you use SFE for extraction, which is costly compared to other methods. Do you consider to try other methods that are comparably uh, efficient to SFE and cheaper? Yes, of course. But actually, uh, the last time uh, we use SFE and currently we deal with the S um, cheaper actually much cheaper compared to the SFE but then if you have a new method which can cut costs and so on maybe you can share or introduce to our company okay so okay the second question is uh, Hello, Doctor from Hasna Ahmad. Doctor Hasna, uh, thanks for the presentation. Excellent product, uh, backed by R&D. Can you share the scaling up process for extraction, purification, and nano encapsulation? 
So actually the extraction process, um, the extraction and purification process previously, uh, because I have a master student and PhD student, so at the beginning, uh, they are the most practical student that can do the extraction and purification. And after that, we just buy uh, from the supplier. But then for small R&D still, we do the extraction and purification by ourselves. But for the big scale production, uh, we just uh, buy the product from the supplier. Buy the active compound, which is the alpha mimestine from the supplier. Okay, and then for the nano encapsulation process, yes, for the nano encapsulation, um, yeah, we use the ultrasonic We have two methods actually. The first one is by uh, using the ultrasonication, and the second one is the uh, by using the high pressure homogenizer. So, um, yeah, we do the scaling up production. So actually, the alpha mingustin, uh, the 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 material is not much actually. So we use only five, milli five milligram per liter in our production. And then from that, uh, that week, actually we do the uh, encapsulation and then that, that um, niosome, alpha mangosine niosome, that one uh, we use in the final production of the, um, the Mexican solution, okay? Okay, so from Dr. Chong Kahme. Okay, how long? Thank you, Dr. Chong. Uh, thank you uh, for your warm wishes and thought. Okay, how long did you take to produce your product uh, from lab to industry? Okay, so thank you uh, for your question. So actually, we so when I come from the South Korea in 2012. So we start to develop the prototype uh, from 2013 and 2014. So in these two years, we actually conducted another experiment, which is the skin uh, efficacy study, whereby we use um, human as our uh, sample. And then in 2015, for, uh, we start uh, produce our first product, which is uh, uh, the Max Intensive uh, Brightening Serum. And so actually it takes, uh, it took about from uh, 2013, 14. So for the, and from 2015, uh, we start to produce in a big scale production. And 2016, uh, we start to have our OE uh, registered under University Technology Malaysia, which is the spin off company uh, by Pro Cosmetics India and Berhad. And 2017, uh, we have our piece. So I think all together before the, uh, from the lab to the industry, it took about uh, more than six years. So let me check the second question. Okay, what is the challenges throughout your production into the market? There's a lot of challenging, I think. Uh, so the first one is because we are a mission. So we are researcher. So we don't have any background or product, how to do sales and marketing, how to deal with customer and so on. So that is the biggest challenging part. So what I do, I try to collaborate with um, a partner. So, so my partner is is actually uh, very good in terms of the marketing and sales. So, uh, uh, with 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 her. So there are a team actually. So there are two men and uh, one woman. So we collaborate with them. So during that time, I can see that. that uh, to expand consistently in 2017. So that is the thing uh, we can do to overcome uh, those kind of problem, okay? So other than that, uh, challenging, how to switch the customer acceptance. So previously, they used to have or to apply the skincare 
that can give a very fast effect. So our product is natural. So we need to educate customer to, to from the uh, using of the hazardous chemical product onto the skin and switch to the uh, safe and uh, uh, very good product uh, uh, backup by R&D and so on. So that also uh, the biggest challenging for us, okay? Then, okay, thank you Dr. Marini for the enlightened questions. What is the raw material used for the niosome? And have you done any work on its localization of the skin application? So the raw material, we have a span, okay? We have a three types of the surfactant actually. So like a span, a twin, and then the cholesterol. And then we, formulation actually and we do the encapsulation after that okay and then have you done any work on its localization after this yes um previously we have a human study so based on the uh, the first one is uh, we uh, we have about 100 people this one is from Malaysia we don't have a uh, at the study uh, by utilizing other foreign skin and so on. So we focus only in Malaysia. So, so actually in agreement with those produced from the in vitro study. So then uh, by using this result and then we start to do the production. Lah. Okay. Is the same technology used in various other Dermax product too? Is the same technology used in others? Uh, Actually, uh, so in the max, we have a skincare product and also we do have color cosmetic product. But for the uh, skincare, all of them, uh, we put the, for the uh, color cosmetic product like um, lipstick and then uh, foundation. And then we do have uh, perfume also. So that one. Uh, not incorporating with alpha mangosteen, so only for skincare product. Okay. Uh, what has changed in your business after COVID-19? Any change in marketing strategy or target customer? It is certainly not easy to bring products to market. I have a few just that you would like to share and how you overcome. Okay, thank you. So I think this is a very good, good question. So actually our company also affect the mix. So I would say that the sales actually decreased uh, about 50% from the uh, previous. So what we do, we try to produce a hand sanitizer and disinfectant solution uh, to, yes, to cover the loss from uh, skincare sales so that is uh, actually that um, uh, skincare doing well actually but then uh, it's still uh, sellable but I think the uh, some other uh, product like uh, disinfectant solution we have two types so one we have a, a liquid solution and fogging solution so I think the sales is quite good uh, during this uh, challenging time okay so good evening, Dr. Marani. Impressive presentation. Please share with us the mechanism of alpha mangosteen on whitening, anti-aging, and anti-acne. Also, how do you balance your life? Okay. So actually, the um, me mechanism of alpha mangosteen uh, on whitening. So previously, from in vitro study, uh, we do the mechanism study. So what we do is uh, we. Uh, uh, types of experiment whereby during that time, uh, so for the toxicology, also uh, we also do the toxicology study uh, by doing the MTT, SRBAC, and so on. And then for the skin lightening, uh, we managed to do the uh, tyrosinase activity, tyrosinase dimography, and then the uh, melanin synthesis to secreted melanin assay and contented melanin assay. And we found that the alpha mangosteen actually inhibit the tyrosinase 
activity. Harassment activity reduced, so the production of melanin also uh, reduced. So that is the mechanism of whitening. And then for the anti-aging, conduct some of the biochemical uh, analysis like uh, TNF alpha, MMP1, MMP9, TNF alpha, interleukin 1 and 6, and so on. So alpha mangosteen actually reduce the inflammation by reducing those TNF and then interleukin and so on. Okay, and then for the and actually uh, uh, we have anti acne uh, experiment. So we have uh, some of the bacteria and we found that uh, alpha mangosteen actually inhibit the uh, the those kind of bacteria that uh, can cause the acne problem, okay? So how do you do a lecture and CEO and successful CEO? Actually, I'm not so success. So still just a startup company. And then we still have uh, 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 lots and more, okay? So how, your, how you balance your life? It's not easy actually. So um, previously, uh, before I start with the spin-off company, so my life is a uh, very horror. So when I start establish the spin-off company, everything getting smooth. So I have a assistant, assistant manager, assistant manager, and then we do have a uh, marketing staff and so on. So thing uh, getting better before. Uh, the establishment of the company. So our staff actually doing very good. So, uh, yeah, most of the uh, most of the work actually. So the 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 the, the I can uh, deliver to the staff and, and the staff. Okay. Thank you for the talk. Okay. May I know the ingredient for your skin care uh, come from natural sources or any uh, chemical use? So most of the products, so when we talk about the skincare formation, there are three types. First one is 100% natural and second one is natural and last one is a synthetic uh, product. So uh, the 100% natural product comes from of the ingredients come from the natural uh, sources. So for the natural product, so at least 90% of the ingredient are uh, natural sources. So our product we claim under natural product, not 100% natural. So it's a mix, uh, more than 90%. Another like preservative, maybe that one is not natural, okay? Great effort for so so assalamualaikum waalaikumsalam. Great effort for successfully developed products and skincare. I'm just wondering, is there any challenges for extracting mango such as getting the mango steam very cup? Okay, so back in 2014, so during that time, we have a contract farming with one of the ladang in Segamat. 20, uh, 2014, 2015, and 2016, we lack of the supply. So during that time, we start to um, import mangosteen from uh, Thailand. So actually, the mangosteen, we have three types, three sizes of mangosteen, size A, B, and C. So the one we use is the size A, consistently uh, applying uh, by using the uh, size A, okay? So it's quite difficult during that time, but back in, so we, 17, we just buy the raw material from the, the alpha mangosteen, and we uh, no need to do the extraction and so on, okay? So it's easier for us. Dr. Hamiza, how do you get the idea of using alpha mangosteen as the base of your product? Have you ever compared with other uh, plant source or bioactive 
Om Sesh. Actually, um, so the idea is uh, the, the, the mangosteen pericarp is very rich in xanthone and antioxidant. So based on the uh, our publication, so we found that the uh, alpha mangosteen is very good for anti-cancer. So that's why uh, we, we try to diversify a mangosteen. And then furthermore, uh, we use the pericarp, whereby pericarp is the waste of the uh, fruit. So we turn uh, something from well to uh, not well actually. So I think uh, it will be better source uh, for our product. Okay, sorry everyone that we have some difficult um, our technical uh, staff will try to take care of these uh, issues. Please uh, be with us for a few minutes. Yeah? Okay, sorry, tadi ada disconnection. Okay, so kat mana dah tadi? The raw material from supplier, Alpha Mangosteen, give a significant results similar to lab. How do you check the quality of Alpha Mangosteen from this company? Okay, so based on the uh, COA, certification and then based on the certificate of analysis and MSDS, so we found that uh, the quality is comparable to those uh, we prepare in the lab uh, previously. Okay, and wonderful insight and thought. Dr. Shah, you work closely with the university as your collab with your colleague throughout the six to seven years networking, upscaling, market evaluation, GMP, facilities support you from the beginning or is it more of an independent approach by your team? So actually, um, yeah, like I did mention, so our company is a spin-off company under UTN and in order for us to commercialize the product, we need to establish uh, agreement, uh, the um, the agreement actually the licensing fee licensing agreement in between uh by April Cosmetics and Amber Hat uh with UTM. So from the agreement we need to pay certain money as a uh as a fee for the uh, in order for us to commercial uh, pattern and then we also need to pay uh, royalty to university about three to five percent uh, from the gross. So that, um, other than that, the company is owned 100% by myself actually. So, so the university actually uh, did not put uh, some money in our company, no, no money, no, no money from the university. So all the money is from our side, uh, the, the capital, the equity and so on. So that's why we just need to pay the royalty and the uh, uh, licensing fee every year, okay? Okay, can I know about the right between UTM and your company hold regarding this pattern? So like, I did, pattern is belong to the university, but then the pattern is valid for 20 years, I think. So in 20 years, we need to, uh, renew our agreement. So the agreement is valid for five years. So after five 
years we and again we need to pay certain royalty and the uh, and the fee uh, to the UTM okay so how do you get the idea of using a farming machine okay so I already answered this one my first question do you conduct standardized standard and how is that important to your product? Secondly, are the effectiveness of the product mainly contributed by the alpha mangosteen or its whole combination? Okay, the solution uh, regarding the standardization of the process. So yes, we did. So when we start to do the extraction first, we need to establish the standardized extract in order to make sure that our uh, uh, is consistent uh, for every single batch and then after that uh, we use the we, we, we purified the alpha mangosteen actually alpha mangosteen is the pure, pure so that bio, the, that pure bioactive compound is solely uh, mm -hmm. alpha mangosteen so that one uh, is okay so we don't need to cut forever uh, we recently we just buy the alpha mangosteen okay so for the experiment the earlier experiment yes standardization okay have you ever compared with other plant source or bioactive compound before this in your research uh memang ada yes yes we did uh compare our uh this our bioactive uh, alpha mangosteen with another bioactive and um Actually, there's a lot of uh, 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 when we did the uh, comparison. So we found that alpha mangosteen is the best uh, compared to others. Okay. okay. Uh, the effectiveness of the product mainly contributed by the alpha mangosteen or its whole formulation. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I think. This previous experiment or the, from the previous study, we found that alpha mangosteen is very potent or very good uh, inhibit the melanin production and induce the collagen synthesis so on. So when we do the formulation again, we uh, we we carry out the human efficacy study and we found that uh, those actually in agreement uh, with the previous result from the in vitro and uh, in vivo study. And then uh, I can say that the efficacy stiffness uh, is uh, solely based on the alpha mangosteen. But then, if we do, if we come up with a formation, of course, uh, we put some other uh, uh, stabilizer and so on to make sure that the product uh, can uh, stable enough uh, for two years or three years uh, uh, to meet the. Uh, then human as the subject for skin care study is it considered as a clinical trial okay a human efficacy study and the clinical trial is two different things so the clinical trial we need to comply with uh, 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 ethics and then the Standard, standard. We have a standard format for to conduct the clinical trial, either phase one, phase two, or phase three. But for the uh, we do the uh, efficacy study for human. So what we do is um, we we pull a group of uh, human uh, fifty or one hundred. So we have a placebo also. So we give them for free. So then, need to. So we give them for free uh, the product, and they need to come every week to check the skin condition. So this one we need to apply the ethic, but this one not consider under uh, clinical trial. And then at the end of the study, uh, for two or three months, so we collect all the data, and then uh, we with significant effect or significant um, result compared to the uh, in vitro study, right? I think you have shown a good example. So from Dr. Zeti, um, how R&D can be translated 
and commercial lives. Can you give some advice and tips for the younger generation of scientists who have uh, interest in entrepreneurship and probably can bring their research outputs to this part? Um, so actually, yes. So for the regulation in UKM, but I, I, I pretty sure that UKM also have spin-off company. Uh, so you need to establish uh, your spin-off company first. And then um, maybe there's a lot of grant offer out there. So you can try to apply the commercialization grant as a startup to make up uh, your commercialization. So because sometimes we do not have enough uh, equity to boost the uh, production and commercialization. So after that, maybe you need to study or to team up with the third party on the commercialization uh, com commercialization area so that is the most important thing and then from sometimes uh, you need to learn uh, how to do sales and marketing how to boost your product how to boost your sales how to uh, deal with customer client and so i think everything is um on your fingertips now so there's a lot of uh, a consultant out there you can engage with them uh, and then maybe from the uh, grind so uh, there's an allocation uh, for you to, you to do the uh, advertisement uh, marketing and so on so you can take those uh, kind of opportunity uh, to start uh, with your okay So I think that's all. Maybe the last one is alpha mangosteen much better ingredient uh, for brightening compared to other ingredients on the market such as alpha arbutin and vitamin C. Okay, so from the previous study we do uh, compare with alpha and arbutin and vitamin. So most of our experiment we use um, arbutin, koji S. And actually, so we have two types of the inhibition of tyrosine's activity mechanism. So the first one is the uh, by using the so the inhibition effect is actually at the cellular wall of the uh, cell. Uh, the other one is the contented melanin assay. So the inhibition as well uh, as well as the uh, reduce in um, Reduce in the uh, okay. The first one is uh, uh, the second one is reduced in the production of melanin. So I think the second one is the inhibition inside the wall of the cell. So what we do during the comparison between alpha mangosteen, koji acid, arbutin, and as well as vitamin C. So I can say that the inhibition of alpha mangosteen and vitamin C is actually uh, inhibit the cellular wall of the, the, the outer part, uh, the cellular wall of the membrane, not inside the so conclusion we can um, summarize that alpha mangosteen is much better than the alpha mangosteen, alpha, arbutin and vitamin C. There is possibility any issue exists is now doing clinical trial for cosmetic product in general. So based on the regulation, here we, we don't have to do the clinical study, but maybe in European country, they still need to have the clinical trial for cosmetic product. Uh, we can reveal the result from the in vitro as well as the in vivo to claim the product is good in what what, right? Okay. So I think that's all questions. So hopefully I already answer all questions. Okay, so back to you, doctor. Thank you very much for uh, giving your time for presentation and also answering a lot of questions from the uh, participants. So, however, we have to come to the end of the webinar. Again,
Uh, to you, Dr. Mariani, for a very interesting talk, and I'm pretty sure that this talk has opened up our view and give uh, here on how to bring up our research output to the next level. For example, for the commercialization. Okay. I also thank would you. like to thank. Thank you, Dr. Mariani, and I'll. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for all participants uh, for spending. Your, uh, with us today. Uh, basically, for today, we get 98 viewers in the Zoom and also 25 viewers from the Facebook Live. So before we say goodbye, let us immortalize this uh, session by switching and have our face captured. So uh, I hope that everyone can switch on your camera and then we can have a very nice photo session. All right, so I will say one, two, three, and then uh, our technical staff will uh, capture our photo. All right, so ready, everyone? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, then. All right, okay. For everyone who attending our webinar session today, and I really hope that we can, I mean, having this uh, again for next time. And again, thank you, Dr. Mariani. Oh, all right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye, everyone. Okay, bye. bye. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.